Diane Feinstein was president of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1978 when the unthinkable happened. This is the body of Supervisor Harvey Milk as it was taken from City Hall. In 1978, Supervisor and LGBTQ advocate Harvey Milk, along with San Francisco Mayor George Moscone, were gunned down inside City Hall. It was Feinstein who stepped up and made the announcement. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. A fellow supervisor, Dan White, was arrested for that shooting. There are a large number of gay men and women in this city who regarded um, Harvey Milk and George Moscone as their best friends. And Feinstein would take on that same mantle as friend to the LGBTQ community and to her city. The following year, she was elected mayor of her hometown. Under her stewardship, San Francisco would hit a medical crisis head on as AIDS began to spread. I've had an opportunity now to be the, the first woman and the first mayor to be asked to go through an interview process. She made the short list for vice presidential candidate with Walter Mondale, catapulting her to the national spotlight. Ultimately, that role would go to Geraldine Ferraro. Feinstein, however, would not stay out of that national spotlight. Spurred by the lack of female representation in the Clarence Thomas Supreme Court appointment hearings. And what did I see but an all-male Senate Judiciary Committee grilling Anita Hill? And it was not nice. She became the first female senator from California in 1992. Then Senator Joe Biden made her the first woman on the Judiciary Committee, and it didn't take long for her to make an impact. Uh, I felt very strongly that Harvey Milk would be here today had it not been for bullets. Inspired by the assassinations of Milk and Moscone, Feinstein would push for an assault weapons ban in 1994. On the Senate Intelligence Committee, she oversaw investigations of the Bush administration's use of torture in Iraq. And while she took on much criticism in recent years, her legacy and representation of her home state endures. Deirdre Fitzpatrick, KCRA 3 News. And at San Francisco City Hall, a table is set up with a picture of Senator Feinstein along with a candle and flowers. People are leaving messages in a condolence book.